Hello everyone, with me for TBS News. Good news to all SMEs. Bank Rakyat is taking proactive steps by offering special financing of up to 300,000 ringgit to assist small and medium enterprises, SMEs and cooperatives. According to Minister of Entrepreneur, Development and Cooperatives, Datuk Sri Wan Junaidi Tuan Ku Jafar, there will also be microfinancing of up to 50,000 ringgit for 69 months with delayed payment of, of 9 months. He added Bank Rakyat also offers a total funding of 50 million ringgit for women entrepreneurs through the Beast Lady package. He further said, the campaign is hoped to help entrepreneurs and cooperatives maintain their businesses during these challenging times of COVID-19. The Cebu Municipal Council SMC office in Wisma Sanyan will open from 8am to 5pm starting May 12th with a 50% capacity. According to its chairman Clarence Ting Ing Hong, this announcement is in line with the order from the State Natural Disaster Committee, JPBNS. He said all sections will be open wherein the MPS library on Jalan Kuranji will be open from 10am to 5pm, while all parks under the MPS jurisdiction will be open from 7.30am to 7pm, allowing for sports activities in groups of no more than 10 people. Meanwhile, at Cebu Central Market, all stalls on the ground floor and the first floor will continue to operate intermediately, while all Pasatambu and Sunday markets will remain closed, with vendors in Muhiba, Sungai Antu, Harmony Park and Ku Peng Lung will be off open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Local Government and Housing Assistant Minister Dr Anwar Apai advised the public to continue face masks while in public areas until vaccine for COVID-19 is covered. He said this was because 6 to 18 percent of those infected with the outbreak did not show symptoms. Citing the Bonnet Post report, he explained that one could spread up to 3,000 droplets that might contain the COVID-19 virus when sneezing. He is also the Assistant Minister of Education, Science and Technology added. Data shows that countries where their citizens wear face masks could quickly flatten the curve of COVID-19 infections. That's all from me. I'm Manor Ruben. Anytime, anywhere.